On this Veterans Day, a lot of you have out your American flags, waving them in honor of those who served our country. But one Turlock area boy who put a flag out on his bike was told by his principal to take it down. As Alyssa Harrington explains, that boy is now fighting back. It's supposed to be free in this country, and I should be able to fly the flag wherever I want to, and they're telling me I can't. 13-year-old Cody Alicia proudly displays an American flag on the back of his bicycle. It's there to honor veterans, including his own grandfather, Robert, who served in the U.S. Army. Uh, very proud, very proud. The red, white, and blue have been at the back of Cody's bike for almost two months now. But Monday, he was forced to take it down. Turns out the flag is not welcome at his middle school. A school official told Cody that some kids were complaining about the flag on his bike, and they asked him to take it off before he comes onto school grounds. Yet I've had it on for two months, and it wasn't a problem until Veterans Week. Cody took it down. I just... Told, told him, okay, so that way I didn't get in any more trouble. It just kind of makes me upset that I can't fly the flag in my nation. His grandfather, Robert, says the school was concerned about racial tensions. The family does not plan any legal action, but does want to meet with school staff to try and find a better solution. No action should be taken. Uh, we don't want any repercussions or anything. We just want Cody to be proud of what he's doing. Cody says he hopes to be in the service someday and is raising money for a trip to Washington, D.C. He feels it's important to fight for his First Amendment right and hopes the school will change its mind. But if not... I'll take it off, fold it, and cooperate with him, put it away. But after school, I'm going to put it back on right home. Now, to be fair, we did try to speak with school officials, but Denaire Middle School and the school district office, of course, are closed for Veterans Day. We called the superintendent at home, but have not heard back just yet. So Visit Pushback Now for news that affects America.